let us start coordination chemistry in this coordination chemistry let us discuss about coordination compounds okay now before discussing coordination compounds we'll see about a, on mixing two salts and crystallizing two or more salts what we will get that we will see first now we will take a potassium sulfate solution we will take potassium sulfate solution we are taking then we will take a aluminium sulfate solution we will take we are taking aluminium sulfate solution both let us mix and we will bring the solution to saturated solution and we will go for crystallization we will get crystals the crystals name is called a potash alum the crystals name is called what means potash alum what is the formula of potash alum that we will see potash alum formula is k2so4 al2so4 thrice dot 24h2 potash alum we got this compound is called a this compound is obtained by addition of these two compounds therefore we can call this is as addition compound or molecular compound this is called addition compound or molecular compound sir next we will take salt solution kcn aqueous solution we will take and fecn twice fecn twice salt solution we will take these two solutions we will mix and we will bring the condition saturated condition then we will go for crystallization we will get crystals we are getting crystals okay we got crystals now how that crystals are there that crystals having formula so and so that crystals having formula so and so so and so crystals we got so these crystals also obtained by mixing these two compounds therefore it is called a addition compound or molecular compound okay now we got addition compound or molecular compound for addition compound and molecular compound some more examples we can say that is carnallite is a ore carnallite is a magnesium ore that is kcl MgCl2 6H2. Carnallite is a magnesium ore, like that is there. Then more salt, more salt we can take. More salt, more salt is a FeSO4, NH4 twice SO4 dot 6H2. It is more salt. So these are what in the sense addition compounds or molecular compounds. okay what is the difference between this addition compound and simple compound that we will see now this simple compound k2so4 i will take simple compound k2so4 i am taking in the solid state then i will take aluminum sulfate simple compound i will take the addition compound the addition compound i will take potassium k2so4 al2so4 thrice 24h2 this also i will take in solid okay i have taken simple compound in solid state then addition compound also in solid state i have taken how their appearance is there appearance of this simple salt and this addition compound is different this simple salt and this addition compound appearance is different color is different size of particles is different so in the solid this addition compound shows dissimilarity from their simple compounds so now we will take them in aqueous solution now we will prepare aqueous solution we will add water this will show k plus ions and sulfate ions 
this will give k plus ions and sulfate ions in the aqueous solution let us dissolve this one in water we will get aluminum ions and the sulfate ions we will dissolve this one in water the analysis says that it contains k plus ions sulfate ions aluminum ions so that means behavior of this one is like simple salts such a type of addition compound is called a double salt such a type of addition compound is called double salt so double salt means it is a type of addition compound it shows dissimilarities from its simple salts but shows similarities with the simple salts in the aqueous solution sir now we will take another addition compound we will take what is that means fecn twice kcl this addition compound we will take this addition compound and the simple compounds will take fecn twice and kcl so now in the solid in the solid state this simple salt behavior and this addition compound behavior is quite different appearance is different color is different size of particle is different so this simple salt and this addition compound is entirely different now we will take them in aqueous solution we will take them how that is behaving that we will see now we will dissolve this one in water it gives ferrous ions and cyanide ions we will dissolve this one in water it gives k plus ions and cyanide ions we will dissolve this one in water experimental analysis says it is giving positive test for k plus it is giving negative test for fe2 plus it is giving negative test for cyanide that means in the aqueous solution ferrous not present cyanide not present k plus is present instead of that it gives a, what that means ferrous is not present cyanide is not present means this fe2 plus and cn minus present in the form of a, like this this complete together one ion that means uh, this addition compound shows differences from its from their simple salts uh, in even in aqueous solution such a type of salts are called uh, complex salts complex salts when they during beginning time beginning time they were unable to say about this they were unable to say bonding in this addition compound therefore they said uh, um, uh, they were unable to say that's why they said complex unable complex salts name they said sir after some time werner was the name of scientist werner is the name of scientist he took some of the compounds what are the compounds he considered in the sense co cl3 6nh3 this compound then cocl3 5nh3 this compound cocl3 4nh3 then cocl3 3nh3 werner considered werner took these compounds cobalt amine complexes uh, before werner these complexes uh, nature of bonding in these complexes were not explained werner is the first scientist to explain the bonding in these complexes werner took these compounds and he collected some experimental facts about these compounds and started giving explanation to this sir so what are the experimental facts he collected what are the experimental facts he collected in order to explain these compounds nature of bonding nature of bonding in these compounds okay he collected one experimental fact called a van t hoff factor that van t hoff factor he got from elevation of boiling point elevation of dep depression of freezing point osmotic pressure relative lowering of vapor pressure that means colligative properties 
from colligative properties he collected vanta factor for each the vanta factor for this one he got as 4 vanta factor for this one he got as 4 for this vanta factor 3 for this vanta factor 2 for this vanta factor 1 from vanta factor he concluded that one molecule of this molecule is dissociating in aqueous solution and gives four ions one molecule of this dissociating in aqueous solution and gives four ions one molecule of this and dissociating in aqueous solution and gives three ions it is giving two ions it is not dissociating therefore vanta factor is one this molecule is present as it is in the aqueous solution without any dissociation like that he concluded from vanta factor he got such a type of conclusion then he considered molar conductivity molar conductivity for this molar conductivity he got how much means for this 390 per ohm centimeter square for this compound he got how much in the sense from experiment he took 262 from experiment he got for this 102 for this he got 0 molar conductivity zero in the sense when current is not carried that's why molar conductivity is zero why current is not carried no ions are there that's why current is not carried for that supporting evidence vanta factor is one vanta factor one means what it is not dissociating if any substance dissociates at least they will become two ions vanta factor is one it is not dissociating not dissociating means no ions no ions therefore molar conductivity is zero that means this molecule is not dissociating into cation and anion that's why molar conductivity is zero like that he got then that means uh, this molecule is not dissociating so no cation no anion for this that conclusion he got then he, from for this he considered another fact also what is that fact means unit charge generally shows molar conductivity nearly 60 per ohm centimeter square from that he concluded it is having molar conductivity 1 or 2 means here two charges present here two charges present two charges means that how it should be there means plus 1 and minus 1 because here it is dissociating into two ions because uh, vanta factor is 2 vanta factor 2 means in the solution this should exist as two ions that means this molecule dissociating means it is giving two ions in the sense certainly one should be cation another should be anion cation alone anion alone is never possible in the solution ions present means uh, cations as well as anions will be present so two ions two ions means only possibility one cation and one anion here two charges means uh, no doubt one is plus one another one is minus one due to this uh, nearly 60 per ohm centimeter square near, due to this one nearly 60 per ohm centimeter square therefore here the molar conductivity is lambda 2 therefore it contains it gives two charges in aqueous solution one is plus one another one is minus one sir like that he concluded now which will give minus 1 here minus 1 charge will be possessed by which one no doubt cl alone can show minus 1 because nh3 is a neutral charge total charge is neutral for nh3 cobalt is a metal metal mostly will show positive oxidation states zero possible in the rare cases like carbonyl compounds negative oxidation state possible for metals rare cases therefore metal taking minus 1 is rare so most probably cl takes so cl takes minus 1 here so 1 minus 1 means 1 cl therefore rest is uh, how it is present means rest uh, present like this rest present like this like that is concluded sir for this 262 lambda a molar conductivity that means uh, nearly how many charges here four charges 
for one unit charge lambda m is nearly 60 here 262 is there lambda m therefore he is concluding here four charges four charges means cation and anion must be present cation total charge anion total charge must be equal therefore plus 2 means minus 2 which will show minus only cl there is no other possibility therefore cl minus 1 cl minus 1 two times possible okay two times cl will be possible here therefore plus 2 is what co nh3 is 5 times cl is one time because out of 3 cl 2 cl present as simple ions one cl in this complex this net charge is plus 2 like this is correct.